morning and welcome back. Okay, spent a good number of hours yesterday working on uh, the cable links for the CAN bus system that uh, MGL are now in the process of uh, making up for me. Uh, and basically, the um, just very, very briefly, the, the CAN bus system at, uh, attaches to these little, little whitey duty things here, each of these components that are in the actual CAN bus uh, links or, or the, the CAN bus system itself all have these attached to it and they will just daisy chain across and work their way through from the fur from the furthest point so Ford being the RDAC and AF being the SP6. I'll go into that in more detail. Uh, there's still a lot more to go on the instruments after that. There's the there's the power supply for many things to go like all this sort of power supply thing so Again, um, I'm very thankful to MGL for, for helping me through this. Uh, very, very daunting. I really admire those that can put these aeroplanes together and get their head around how the wiring goes. It just absolutely does my head in. So maybe I'll learn something from it at the end of the day, which will be a good thing, I guess. Let's quickly go across to the aeroplane. So just, uh, just very briefly, the I thought I had been through the drawings enough in respect to the actual motor installation and assembly and bought all of the subsequent uh, tools and everything that I needed uh, you know torque wrenches oils uh, grease for bearings and the like um, feeler gauges whatever I had to buy uh, I, I sort of bought Loctite you know piston ring devices that allow you to put them into the cylinder heads and everything but I noticed uh, just yesterday the day before actually I noticed the actual engine uh, motor mount uh, does not come with bolts through here and I'm, the only reason I can think of that is because there's probably well there is there's, there's varying different uh, engine mounts and gear leg uh, options uh, for different engines and I, ga I guess the same for, 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 for motors so um, that's probably the reason why they don't supply that in the kit uh, also too I had to get um, some bolts for the ignition coils. There's two of these, which mount somewhere around about down here somewhere. Uh, so I just did a bit of a cutting list to Aircraft Bruce and uh, ordered those parts yesterday so I could hopefully save on freight. Let's move across to the rear spar. Okay, moving across to the uh, build of the rear spar. I'm going to be just uh, working my uh, way through it slowly. I'll be um, putting some pilot holes through the mounting plates this morning and also to the uh, doubler plates which go onto the rear spar. Um, I won't touch on the forward spar at the moment, when I, uh, I will when I get to it, but uh, very very briefly uh, you're assembling a pair of these on one wing only and then putting the other, sorry, one spar only, then joining the other spar uh, together and using one set, so one set of these mounting blocks as a pilot if you will. Uh, Sonics supply a little sleeve that goes into these holes when they're upsized to uh, half inch. Uh, there's a little half inch sleeve that goes into this with a 3 8 drill bit that goes through one into the opposite behind, allowing you to have a perfectly inline hole to either take bolts or the McAllister quick release pins. I'm opting for the McAllister quick release pins. Uh, at this stage, so that uh, if you know I, I end up finishing this aeroplane inside this hangar here, at least it'll be transportable by you know undoing those pins and a little unbolting them each and every time. So let's move on to that at a later stage. How about we make a start on these uh, rear spars and get these um, drilled and uh, click out together? We'll have a look at the difference on the drawing and, and see what differences there are because there are differences. Two spars are clicoed together and upsized to coppers on the doubler plates and left on the uh, silver clicos for the ribs to go through. So just looking on the inside of the left hand side there. A little bit of a filing on the inside here to get it to fit. Uh, and through to here. Here is the difference between the right and the left. Uh, if you look sort of on end elevation you'll see one of the attached plates is above the rear spar and the other one is below and one has a little bit of a fat end on it like that compared and this one here is in reverse so uh, and also leaving these out ready for the ribs 
to fit on that side and that side there plus the end over here so I'll deburr all this now and prime it up I'm of two minds whether I uh, sorry I didn't mention to I've upsized these two ends for the AN uh, 3-5 A's I think they are yes uh, for bolts there's two bolts in the ends and two bolts in these ends according to the drawing so looking on here You've got a bolt and a bolt, and over this side, a bolt and a bolt. So hopefully I've done it right. All good to go. I will copper click out, sorry, I'll um, deburr it all now, and I'm, as I said, I'm on, of two minds whether I um, rivet it together now or not, um, because there's still drilling through here, to go yet for the ribs and I'm just of two minds anyway I'm waffling I will deburr these now and prime them up hi good morning and welcome back um, for those that uh, watch this build series and other build series uh, on aeroplanes uh, getting built that are interested um, here is the wingspan of a Sonics two spars have just been temporarily mated together with some pins to hold it I'm just checking the drawings. I might go through the process uh, with you to uh, show you the do's and don'ts. What better way to explain uh, how these spars do actually work is I might throw together a really quick uh, rudimentary model. And this is what you end up with. A spar tunnel, which is already in the aeroplane itself. A couple of spars. They slip into here. Put a couple of bolts or quick release pins in there and this is what you end up with. Two wings pinned in the aeroplane and they're scissored over, they don't go anywhere. So to remove the wings, you pull the two pins out, take out your wings and you're left with a movable aeroplane. Trailable, easy as that. Now let's have a look at the real thing. Okay, uh, here's the uh, wing spars here. Uh, ready to go. Uh, I've just temporarily put some pins in there. Sonics, when they supply these spars, they supply them as a mated pair, so they're made in the factory as one pair, then they'll make another pair, just in case there's probably, probably, I say that, there shouldn't be uh, any slight differences in the mating. So they are left and right. There's only one, you know, I, I probably couldn't take one of my right spars and put it into someone else's spar. There'll be some small differences. So I've got these two just pinned together at the moment. Uh, these two mounting blocks here represent these two pins that will go in at the end of the day through our spar tunnel which is in the aeroplane at the moment. And when I say the spar tunnel's in the aeroplane at the moment, only the rear spar's in there at the moment. And I've just brought over the forward spar tunnel. So this goes facing forward. You'll see inside here there's three holes. That's these three holes here, which will be upsized to suit these holes here, which are like a locating pin or a, a, like a, a temporary pin just to hold it in spot prior to putting your final pins in when you're rigging the wings for the first time or when you're removing the wings for transportation. It's just another process. Rather than just try to put these spars together and just try to find two holes, it's giving you, you know, a couple of bites in a cherry. So I've just brought that over there to show you. So those are those three holes here. These two outer holes, you can just see on the Ford spar tunnel, there's a, a larger hole here. Uh, and that goes through a whole bunch of gusset plates. It's, it's very, very, so it's not relying on this, just this very thin piece of aluminium. It's got all sorts of structural stuff that bolts and rivets and God knows what together. So it's very, very, very strong. So process for today is to upsize these two to uh, a, a half inch hole, my apologies, a half inch hole, which will be, so I'll go through about a three or four drill, up drilling process to make these into to half inch. The holes that are already inside the spar are already upsized to an AN 
uh, three, I think it is, uh, bolt or AM4 bolt, uh, AM3 bolt. Uh, and I have to upsize these to suit those bolts. So once I start to drill these up, uh, I can't sort of swap this to the left and to the right. I'll be making it to suit this part of the spar, so, or this, this spar itself. Hence the R on there, the, everything. So, um, all right, once that's finished, there's a small uh, locating plate. I'll just bring the camera in closer and show you. During the um, rigging process, so you're at the stage of you've built your wings and you're putting these wings inside the spar tunnel. There's a small rig plate um, that goes on here to help locate these spars in the right spot prior to putting your locating pins and eventually your bolt or your McAllister pin through here. It's just a, another way of just making sure that you're slipping them in uh, in the correct location, I guess. So uh, these have to go on as well. There's two of those, one left and one right. The only other thing we have to do is a tie down uh, bracket. So let's have a look at that. Okay, the tie down bracket. On my spars, it appears to have a, well, it doesn't appear to have, it appears to be different to both uh, Gavin's and uh, Dan's spars because they don't have this little lip on here. Now that measures roughly around about uh, 063. Uh, I know this is pretty sort of rough the way I'm doing it, but that sort of brings it back flat. Now, two, two things I'm going to do. I'm either going to file this down, which I'm not going to do until I talk to Sonics, or I'm going to simply put a piece of packing aluminium in there just to at least build it up and get this part of the build finished. Uh, and if Sonics come back to me and go, no, you can file that off. I suppose the first question I'm going to ask is why was it left on there in the first place if it's not needed? And uh, is it going to hurt if I leave the the, the, wash, the the little washer plate I'm going to make up, leave it on there? It just means I might have to put bigger bolts in uh, or something like that. I can't see that it's going to effectively uh, be anything different in the sheet. I don't think the sheets of the aircraft have pre-drilled holes for this so there's no alignment issue so that's the way I'm going to do it uh, unless I'm doing something wrong and I can't see the forest for the trees again uh, that's what I'll be doing so let's go ahead and start drilling and um, get on the build okay I've just spent the day doing all the little odds and ends on these uh, spars in lieu of doing the mounting blocks I'll leave those till last I did actually end up reading the um, construction order so I'm going to follow it I don't really think it makes that much sense what you do first but um, I'm going to follow it anyway so I've done it so I've just put this little packer plate inside here it's uh, worked out okay on the opposite side uh, there is the stiffener angle is done all bolted in temporarily bolted in until uh, Sonics come back to me or I might even just leave it obviously I'm going to need three bigger bolts for here because these uh, run out of uh, thread on them. So I'll go and show you the um, root rib attach angle. Okay, uh, here's the uh, root rib attach plates. That is heavy. Uh, it's on both sides. I have just bolted it in at the moment um, as a temporary measure. I'm not going to finish it off and leave it there uh, because when these ribs go in just in case it's going to be hard to either rivet it or uh, deburr it moreover. I'm uh, just going to take that option. I've always been a big fan of just temporarily bolting things and clecoing things together until I'm 100% sure it's going to work and then pull it apart and, and deburr it. But um, there you have it. I think I'll uh, close this one off for the moment and get on to uh, the next weekend get on to doing these attached plates uh, I can't see that I have that much work to go to finish this first spa probably around about maybe two hours uh, it's done do the uh, do the left hand side make them together and I can start the wings talk with you all soon